Hello, lovely faculty, and welcome to my group projects on Canvas workshop. I am so excited to create this for you. I got tons of recommendations for this workshop, and I'm so, so excited that you're here to work on this workshop uh, with me and to learn about group projects in Canvas. This is our home page, which is also the syllabus page. So once you get into Canvas and you log into our workshop, you're going to see this beautiful banner at the top. On the right hand side, you'll be able to access the course calendar. If you click on that, you can always click um, to activate your different calendar so you can just see what we've got going on for the next five weeks. So you can easily access that right on the calendar. You can also see all the to do projects here. We've got eight very small, very quick activities. You can also see the due dates and the quick calendar here. You can see a little welcome message. This workshop should take you about five to 10 hours over five weeks. So that's about one hour a week. Um, if you're you know, struggling with Canvas, it might be a little bit longer than that, but I've really tried to keep this workshop manageable for you, especially because you're going to be working with other faculty and collaborating a little bit. But don't worry, I'm going to make that easy for you and show you how to make it easy for your students too. You can always click here to watch the tour, which you're probably watching it right now, so hopefully you clicked on that link already. You can also see what we're going to be working on, and you can get started by clicking this Get Started button. You can learn about me. You can learn more about me by clicking that button if you'd like, but I'm sure many of you have seen me in other FDC workshops and worked with me before, but if not, welcome. I'm very happy to have you. Down here at the very bottom of the syllabus page, you can see our course summary. So you can see we've got 10 little deliverables. Um, most of them should take about 10 minutes each. So they're very quick, but they're just kind of helping you uh, kind of work through the group project and how to make them and how to do them um, on Canvas. So you can see all of that right there. You'll notice that they're due on Mondays and Wednesdays. So this is um, because I take time on the weekends to spend time with my family and relax. And so I want to be there to be able to support you. So it, I like to have my deadlines during the week so that I am readily available for any issues tech wise or not um, that come up. So we'll be um, submitting things on Wednesdays and Mondays. Um, and so you can kind of see that there. So that's kind of the structure of the course. Again, I said you can click on that, you know, uh, get started here and it'll take you to the modules or on the left hand side, you can click modules. And here you're going to see some helpful Canvas uh, resources. Um, you know, if you need a little bit of help with that, you can do that. Here there's a Q&A discussion board. You can leave questions there for me or you can email me. No problem at all. Here in the get started work, um, area, this is what we're going to be doing week one. So you've got a whole week just to learn about our workshop. So you can read about me. You'll notice if you open the page, you'll get a little check mark. And up here it says complete all items. So that means you'll have to open each one and view it or you'll have to submit something. If it says to submit here, you need to submit some preferences. So this is a two question survey here that you'll submit during the first week. And then you'll get these little check marks. So a circle over here means that you haven't completed it yet. A check mark means you've viewed that page and you're ready to go. A little red uh, icon up here means that you haven't finished all the stuff for that module. So you've still got some things to work through. Once you get all those green check marks, you'll get a green check mark up here too. So let's just go ahead and open these so we can kind of preview them really quickly. So we've got about your facilitator. You can learn a little bit about me. Um, you can see our workshop, workshop schedule as well. You can see our objectives. This is where the welcome video that you're going to be watching is going to be. And here, this is probably our most important page. This is all the information that's throughout the course condensed into one area about the mini group project. So this doesn't teach you how to do a mini group project. This is an example of a page to provide your students with ample information to get them started and to, to you know, help them understand what the group project is going to be. So this is the group project for you guys. And again, you can scroll through that and, uh, and, and look at that information as well. And then at the very end, you can click this button to take that quick uh, survey. And again, it's just two questions long. So you'll type in uh, which activity you, you are most interested in. Maybe you're interested in being the technical support. You'll know what that means once you uh, read that page. And then you'll commit to say, yeah, I'm going to participate. This is just an example um, of our workshop for that. Um, that you can do with your students. Um, so you can kind of submit that and be ready to go. And then, oops, didn't mean to click out of student view there. I meant to click out of the, <laughs> the survey. 
So then once we go next, it'll take us uh, for module one. There's always a little welcome video in module um, in each module. So it kind of welcomes you to the module and tells you what we're going to we're going to do that week. So if we go back to our, our general modules now and uh, I'm going to just refresh the page there. You'll notice that now everything is complete. I viewed it. I took the quick little two question survey. And so that whole module's got check, check marks and a check mark at the top. So once that's done, I can collapse it with this little arrow here and I can begin in module one. You'll notice that there's about 10 items in each module. Um, they're normally, uh, it takes a normally about two to three minutes to read each item. And then you've got different tools where you're gonna be creating it. Typically the tools take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to make, depending on how um, you know experienced you are with Canvas. If any of these uh, activities take more than 15, 20 minutes, or even 30 minutes, please reach out to me, schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment, or come to my Tuesday office hours for faculty. I have faculty-only office hours from 2 to 3 p.m. Um, on every Tuesday, and of course, I'm available to make one-on-one -on -one appointments with you as well. So again, if any of these tools are taking more than 20 minutes to do, please reach out to me. There's probably an easier and better way to do it. <laughs> so again, you'll, you can click on the item. Once you click on it, you can click these nice little next buttons. You can view the videos we've got, the activity you're going to be doing, reading some information, learning about closed captions and things like that. And so you can just go through all of this material. If you're tired and you want to take a break and come back later, you can always come back to modules and see where your check marks are to see where you're going to start off again. So you can, you can kind of look at that there. The first activity we're going to be doing for the group project is introducing ourselves. So you won't actually do this till week two. Um, week one, we're just kind of learning about the project. And here you're going to create a, an assignment. So this is just a group discussion. So each, each group has its own, right? So you're only introducing yourself to your group there. Um, and then you can go back to that as well. So again, as always, if you ever need to find where you are, you'll come back to this module. So you'll notice that, you know, getting started is just week one. So you've got a couple of days just to learn about it, check in with me. And then here, um, you know, module one, you've got a whole week to do that. Notice that our week ends on Monday. So again, this is a, an adjusted week. We start on Tuesday, end on Monday, <laughs> just to give that extra day so that you have that weekend to work on things if you want to, and then the Monday to, you know, talk to me if you're struggling with anything, because I'll be available for you on Mondays. Um, and you can just, just go through all of these modules, we, um, weeks three and four. The final module is a little bit um, special because it has our group project um, wrap up and also our submission. So this is where you'll submit your, your group. Module three is also kind of special because it has some useful tools for tutorials for working on this mini project. So if you've never created a Google Slides presentation with other people, these tools are gonna save your life. And then if you've never done a voice thread, you know, you can learn about it here more in depth. So I'm gonna walk you through all of those things. We've got lots of tutorials, lots of steps, everything to support and help you to do this group project and also to then apply that and create a group project for your students. So the different activities we have can be found again in the syllabus here. So you can see all these. So we're going to start by introducing ourselves. Then the coordinator of your group will submit the plan for you guys to work together and the roles you've selected. You'll learn about the benefits of group projects. You'll create your own group project fancy page. And again, I'll help you with all that. You'll learn about the groups area on Canvas and what it looks like. And then you'll also, your technical support mem group member will submit your collaboration link, which is a link to your Google Slides. Um, you don't have to be made yet, it's just the link. Then your quality control is going to follow the checklist of your, your requirements. Make sure you guys you know, uh, included everything you need to for the group project. And then finally, you're going to submit that to a discussion board where everybody can see your voice thread presentation. So you'll submit that link there. And then you'll complete a peer and self-evaluation and you'll create a, or a little post for a wrap up and congratulations to your group. So all of these are steps that I include in my group projects uh, for my students. And so I'm going to be walking you through these, but you're not going to just be, you know, doing this little mini group project, which really will take about 30 minutes of your time. <laughs> um, if you're not familiar with uh, Google Slides or VoiceThread, it might take a little bit longer than that. But again, please reach out to me if um, any of the tutorials or uh, pages aren't making sense to you. 
Um, and I'd be more than happy to help you with that. But I want you guys to go through this as a student so that you can also then support your students. So you're going to be learning in the modules how to make all of these wonderful things for your course. And then you're going to be doing deliverables where you're actually doing that activity as a student. So you have kind of a dual role here in this workshop. You're going to be an instructor creating your own group project, and then you're going to be a student doing a very mini uh, group project, which is really just talking about your group projects together <laughs> and sharing your ideas. Um, so that you kind of get that feel for what's really available in Canvas and how great these tools can be. The other items that you have available here to you is this Zoom office hours link. So you can click that every Tuesday from two to three, I'll be on and you can join me then. Um, you can also see the assignments in a quick list here um, in case you wanna read about any particular one. The discussions you can access in a quick, uh, quick one here as well. So the discussion board, group one, etc. Um, you can also uh, see your groups here in people. So you can click on groups and you can see your different group members. Um, and then you can also view your grades. Do know that, you know, this workshop does not really have a grade. Um, it is about completion and participation and learning and growing and evolving and creating a great project for your own classroom and also learning how to do one um, on Canvas as a student. So again, if, if you have questions about any of these, please just let me know. And then of course there's support resources, um, but this is a link that's available for all students um, here in Canvas. So um, that's a, a special link uh, for students as well, but you have access to it uh, uh, you know, as well. So that is our workshop in a quick you know, 10, 15 minute uh, welcome video. I welcome you again. This is gonna be very exciting. I'm very, very, very happy to be doing this workshop with you. I used to hate group projects um, in class and especially online. And slowly I've been finding ways to make them more enjoyable for me and also for the students. And I'm super excited to share my knowledge and experience with you. Um, and I really hope that you guys get motivated by this workshop and that you get great ideas for group project from your, um, from your colleagues in the workshop as well. Again, you can always reach me at rayhale at fullerton.edu and I'll answer those emails between Monday and Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. PST. So if you want to you know, email me, please do. Give me about 24 hours and I will get back to you. I'm really good at responding to my emails. Um, and with that being said, Welcome to our group projects on Canvas workshop. I can't wait to work with you. Have a wonderful day.